Hey. Period. Hello guys, welcome to Leaves and Lungs. So today we're going to see a special video about on how to crack UPSC prelims 2017 in 60 days. Okay. So first of all, there are like terms and condition, obviously. So this is only for those people who have studied year long. Okay. So this is not for those people who are starting right now. And this is uh, for the people who have started like six to seven months ago. And the preparation is like kind of uh, hairy and weary, like not focusing on the concepts completely and not finishing the syllabus completely. Like they'll know the basics. They would have read half of the book and they would have uh, stopped it and also for the people who are like working continuously and they don't have the time or they don't have the strategy to uh, like implement their uh, preparation as well and also for the people who are like stuck okay so and for the people who are like lost hope uh, like they can't cover the entire syllabus in these two months okay so this is mainly for those people and i hope uh, like this video gives you an insight okay although this is like not 100 percent guarantee video so this might help you okay like how to prepare for the exams okay so guys i'll uh, i'll tell the basics alone first okay so to do it in under 60 days it's not an uh, easier easier one you need to uh, like climb at least not conquer you should at least climb at least the seven uh, mountains so of all the mountains the biggest and the massive one is current affairs okay so for the people who have given last year question like last year exam you could have understand that more than 40 question 45 questions came from current affairs alone so even if you have prepared current affairs religiously you could have answered like uh, 40 questions uh, like very very much easily okay so that much scope of importance is given to current affairs these days and i hope the trend will continue this year also because the potential the number of questions that can be asked from current affairs is invariably high compared to the other static syllabus okay so like almost like 50 percent of the importance should be given for current affairs alone okay so for the people who are like uh, reading static portion alone you should also skip your strategy like prepare more on current affairs and less of static portion okay so this is how your strategy should change right now okay so like uh, the rest of the topic uh, the most easier ones are like geography is easier to read and environment is easier to read and science and tech is also easier to read okay so if you read these syllabus like the, the three subjects you can invariably get like 15 to 20 questions right so so uh, so basic things is like uh, you should just read environment science and tech and geography first and then you can go for polity and economy okay so this is how your preparation should actually streamlined so guys the first massive mountain to climb is current affairs so as i told like 40 to 45 percent is going to be like uh, it is going to be bulked up with current affairs so you just have to master it first before going to the static portion okay so the sources are like there are like plenty of sources for current affairs so if you are an ardent follower of hindu and if you have taken notes regularly you can do uh, revise that if not there's a uh, like there are like great websites such as insights vision ias ias baba so all these sites are providing monthly current affairs okay so like you can uh, you can download it from their websites and you can uh, like finish it up in 12 days okay so like 12 like 12 months uh, you can finish it up each month the current affairs in a single day okay so you should have to focus it and you should have to do it regularly okay without finishing this never skip to the next portion alone okay first finish this and come on to others and also you can like uh, you can also see unacademy mcq videos so like each month video is like uh, four and a half hours to five hours okay so if you are able to do it in style you can just follow all the questions okay this might be a revision for your monthly current affairs so do watch these videos also the quality is also very good there and um, after finishing these two you should also like look at the question papers okay so this is an video this is an mcq video type uh, preparation and this is like model questions okay so you have to solve almost like 30 question paper basic 30 question paper okay so just go through all the question paper the the like the question papers are available uh, elsewhere in telegram and also if you want to upload all the things i can do it for you and uh, finish all the like all the mcq videos and the model syllabus in 13 days okay so this will uh, like it will take like 25 days so for current affairs if you dedicate like 25 days religiously by finishing all these things you can invariably get to that 40 to 45 percent i'm sure you will get it okay so this is how you actually prepare for your current affairs 
and the most easiest and the most uh, interesting thing is environment okay so for the guys uh, who have not prepared environment yet so just go the basic key topics about ecology ecotone ecotype uh, and uh, all the ecological concepts should be like mastered immediately and after that do watch all the conventions okay like uh, rotterdam convention chemical convention and various other convention that has been cropping out in current uh, affairs and also the important one that have been formed against global warming so you should have a list of all the conventions okay so like uh, like listing out all the conventions and just knowing the basics alone could also fetch you great marks okay so just do all the conventions and also new environmental policies that have cropped this year and uh, you should give special importance to renewable energy also like solar energy and wind energy like interesting things that have been developed uh, in regarding with these things okay and uh, obviously the most important thing definitely you're gonna get some questions like one or two questions definitely it's going to be come in coming under the term national parks biosphere reserves sanctuaries uh, so you should know all the sanctuaries that is present in and around in india okay and also you should have to check over the ic iucn updated list that is both plants and animals so like definitely there are like some animals would have which would have like uh, gone from endangered to critically endangered or uh, like threatened to nearly vulnerable so all these updated lists should be like also like checked out and also like any new relevant scientific discoveries so last year like uh, like example um, uh, new technologies in uh, founding finding out the number of tigers that is present in a uh, forest so like these technologies and discoveries should be also like uh, should be kept in your mind and also like latestly like new species is also discovered so all these key elements should be also like dealt within this so like you can finish all the things in under three days okay so this is the what oh, sweetest part of your preparation that is environment is not boring you can finish it up in three days and still you can get like 10 to 12 questions from the three days itself okay so guys don't skip the main that, that is the environment part alone this is like more crucial than any other thing so and the next easier one is like science and tech okay so science and tech is one of the most important thing because uh, it is also like easier to read like along with the uh, environment so finish it off very soon okay so they're gonna ask all the like the basic physics law that comes in your 6th to 10th uh, standard so like examples like why sky appear blue and why trees appear green so the question will be like this alone so what is the principle what is the reason behind this so do revise all your uh, like 6 to 10 uh, basic physics uh, syllabus and also you should know the basic chemistries that is applied chemistry okay so you should all you should know the mechanism behind uh, all the gas formation and also you should know something about hydrocarbons and what is the structure so all the basics should be like covered up and recently in terms of current affairs so there will be like new latest inventions that been that would have been coming up so last year you had a loon technology that is balloon technology invented by google and this year you could list up all the important uh, like inventions and you could uh, end up with like two or three questions okay so maximum this is like based upon the current affairs so if you do your current affairs well science and tech is very easy for you okay and also like search for any ncrt gist okay so if you're not able to cover the ncrt there are like plenty of uh, websites providing the gist of all the uh, science and tech things so you can just follow up there so if you haven't have the material just do give a comment there i will provide you okay and also like in science and tech uh, like this includes the all the basic defense uh, procurement and the defense technology missiles so you should have a note over of these things also okay so this is how science and tech should be prepared so like here comes the headache portions like economy okay so like the most preferred book for economy is amazing and you right now you can't read the things okay so before proceeding to economy just finish the basic things alone so definitely there, there's going to be two or three questions coming from banking and its term and like various market capital market stock market definitely one or two questions is going to become sebi what is the functions of sebi what are the regulators so definitely some questions is going to be based upon the two key topics so also know the basic uh, like glossary of all the things like what is gdp what is gst what is tax to gdp ratio so just have a glance over all the things that you have read for the past one year so like if you are if you're reading sanjeev very much really good because it's just like 200 pages and you can finish it up uh, like very easily okay so just do give a read completely uh, of this book that is sanjeev verma and also there's one more book that is shankar ganesh i hope so this is also an easier book you can read the main concepts alone okay so like rest will be dealt with in the current affairs okay so if you're reading current affairs and if you are following up uh, with the various uh, sources you can also solve like 50 percent of the economic questions from the current affairs also so these are these are the basic that you should get it right first of all
so the next heavyweight to climb is polity okay obviously the bible for polity is lakshmi kant and it is impossible to finish it right now okay so in case if you have read it earlier before you can revise it once again but even then it will take hell out of you to finish it okay so gather all the basics from the past year question papers first thing you'd have to do so like how the governor is being elected and what are the powers of governor so you should be like like exactly clear with the basic concepts and uh, like also you should know how they are being elected and uh, how they can be removed and what is the period of tenure so this is how polity questions usually will be asked okay so like strategical analysis of all the topics and uh, it should be done in your own way okay so just do it in your own way don't rely on any other materials so specially give weightages to elections of various post methods and appointments and also the period of tenure okay so as i said earlier just do it this way alone so and also like special powers or special posts should be also like taken up and uh, like exceptional condition related information should be also like carried out okay so like by reading this you can almost like uh, like even if they ask like 10 questions you can definitely solve 6 to 7 questions okay so like the easiest thing is geography you can read it under one week okay like uh, the first thing is watch bhumika saini an academy videos they are like really really awesome okay trust me they are like really awesome so she has given all the important agricultural uh, geography uh, videos that is on basic phenomena occurring in earth like tides waves uh, like rain everything she has given and also like weather patterns and climate in indian physiography so like all the important things are being uh, dealt under a uh, bhumika saini video so you can go check that also and also like ncert so if you don't uh, like if you're not an e learner and if you want to prepare in the conventional way just do download the ncerts and the nios that has been exclusively came out for geography so like finishing that also like will help you to get the marks that have been coming out from geography okay so like the like already like 25 days has been gone for current affairs and right now it's been like 26 days okay so with history pending so like almost like 51 days have gone out and uh, there's still history to read okay can, can you able to think that you can at least read history right now no way right so it's like highly foolish to leave out history alone because uh, history is exhaustive and you can't uh, do it right now okay so at least you should have to know the basics at least you should have to answer or two or three questions okay this might actually be a game changer for you so the basic things that you should need to know so definitely there's going to be a question coming from 1857 revolt okay so do watch all the videos done by roman saini this alone would be enough so you can finish it up in like uh, 45 minutes okay i can guarantee you that it's like within 45 minutes you can know all the basic things that is related to great revolt and also like an academy art and culture are like really helpful at least there like one or two questions are coming out from the videos that he has produced okay so do watch that videos also So, like indefinitely, there will be a questions coming from Jainism or Buddhism. Okay, so do watch uh, Jainism and Buddhism videos also. Never read it from the books. Okay, uh, trust me, you can't get enough information from the book if you're reading right now. Okay, with just ten days to go, you can't read it. Okay, just do watch the videos alone. This might be a really a game changer when you on the day of your exams. And also, like one or two questions definitely gonna come from Indus Valley civilization. Just know the sites, okay? Sites of civilization where it flourished, and uh, what are the important uh, structures they have produced? Like what is pottery? What is N W pottery? And uh, what is Great Bath? Like all the key terms uh, should be like uh, listed up, and should and you should prepare the things on uh, Indus Valley civilization as well. So this is about ancient India, and uh, the thing is, you should also list out all the organization that has formed in the post-revolt period. That is, that there are like uh, various servant society, there are various educational society, various newspaper society, and there are like various various organization that have formed in the post-revolt period. Okay, so if you have uh, if you if you have the notes of uh, uh, like the organization, you can just revise it, and also you should know the leader's name, like. when was the congress formed and when was or who was the leader at the time and uh, like all the leaders name should be like you should have no at least a basic bit like who was the first women's congress president and uh, who headed the first round of conference who headed the second round of conference so the leaders name should be like highlighted and you should finish these things okay so because they would mostly ask regarding the leaders name alone and uh, finally like even in even if you leave out all the things okay the final thing is like definitely you should do it okay so just go through all the past year question papers so i recommend you to watch at least like 20 to 30 question papers like at least from 1991 so till now you should watch it okay because the questions that is coming from history and geography is like 
it's like a uh, it's like me at least everything is repeated from this this questions only okay so you don't need to worry about anything so when you see all the question papers you would have prepared like 300 questions okay so definitely out of the 300 questions you want to get at least three questions three to four questions okay so in this way prepare yourself and in the last one week there is only one thing that you should need to know okay so this is not the thing that i am giving this is the this is the only tip that has been given up by all the toppers okay so just solve the question papers alone just look at the question papers and try to answer it okay so solve as much as question as possible like at least you should uh, you should solve at least 300 questions per day so in that case like you can able to solve like 2100 questions okay so out of the 2100 questions you might end up with even 60 to 70 questions so such impact uh, it has over the last week preparation by solving the question papers alone okay so this is the only thing you should just need to do on the last week and uh, the only thing i can say is like do it consistently for all the 60 days and finally with the help of god's grace and luck on your side you might you might even end up in the rank list okay so like don't lose your hope like keep pushing yourself forward and one day you can definitely achieve and with the 60 days time remaining you can still do it okay so guys just do it don't don't self don't let your self doubts creep in your mind you can still achieve it okay you have 60 days left so uh, like like that's all i can say for you right now so don't lose your hope just do it uh, in your own way i'll see you in the next lecture thank you guys